Office Scripts Scrabble Solver uses the following Microsoft tools. Office Scripts, Power Automate, OneDrive for Business and Excel Online. Characters are added into cell D4. The solver finds all the anagrams, subwords and subsequent anagrams of all those subwords that have an English definition. A subword is any string of characters of any length derived from the original inputted string. For example, if microsoul is added at, as the input string, one subword would be MIC, MIC. The solver can be amended to solve for other languages too. Given medium strong players already know all the two letter words in a particular language, this script does not supply all the possible two letter words. So the script ends at the three letter word level. The script generates all the possible word combinations for the characters supplied to it. The number of combinations possible from seven characters is 5,568. For six characters, it is 1,585. In order to operate the Office Script Scrabble Solver, enter a one in cell D5 to start a run. Four character length strings take around 56 seconds to complete. 28 seconds of this is for the round tripping to the dictionary API and back. The scripts used in this demo are supplied separately as .ts files in the provided GitHub repo and are included at the end of the supplied user guide also. Here we can see the result of the input word micro after a run. Only those words that have a definition are visible. All others have been filtered using the Excel filter functionality. Let's now go to the demo. For reasons of brevity, I have removed the portion of the video where nothing happens, showing only the word generation itself and the definition input. Let's now look at the Power Automate flow behind the script. In reference to my previous demo solution, the JD Salinger Word Generator, the flow is different only in that the two Office scripts are different and the final filter step has been removed. The filtering now takes place in Excel, operated by the script rather than in the flow. This was changed because all of the generated words needed to be output back into the Excel workbook rather than removed prior to input. The flow is triggered when a file, in this case the Excel Scrabble Solver workbook, changes. An Office script then runs testing the length of the inputted string. If it is greater than 7, then the entire flow terminates with a message posted to Teams. Next, the Scrabble Word Generator 7 script runs. This generates the anagrams and subwords for the provided input string. Next, various variables are declared. The input array variable is populated with the result of the previous Office script. Input array one variable is populated with a subset of values from the input array variable. Each subset contains 1999 words. The defin array variable holds the list of retrieved definitions for each of the generated words. The HTTP response variable contains the HTTP code 404, which indicates that the browser was able to communicate with a given server, but the server could not find what was requested. In the bottom half of the flow, a sequence of apply to each loops are run depending on the size of the input array. Each applied to each loop is the same, dealing with the next 1999 words. In the first applied to each loop, the definitions for each of the generated words are retrieved using the HTTP connector and added to the defin array. The HTTP connector connects with the free dictionary REST API 
from dictionaryapi.dev. Where no definition is available, the response from the HTTP connector is 404. This value is contained within the status code response. In the condition step, status code is extracted from the return to JSON and compared to the value 404. If true, then the no word exists text is added as item value to the defin array. If the condition is false, then a definition has been found and it is extracted from the HTTP body response value. The HTTP connector is shown with the URL displayed. The array item is appended at the end. The definition string extraction formula is shown here. Even though the HTTP response was in JSON format, and parse JSON connectors do operate on this response, they could not be used in this case for practical reasons. This is because the JSON syntax changes dynamically, depending on the number of part of speech items in the JSON response. That is, the JSON changes when a definition contains an adverb, verb, noun, or adjective, and so on. Each new word has a variable amount of these. The JSON can range from 1 to 7 pages in length. See Appendix 1 and 2 in the user guide for an example of these. So there is a huge difference in the size and number of layers for each JSON response for each word definition retrieved. Creating a set of parse JSON actions as well as the associated loops and variables to manage this would be onerous to create. An alternative, much easier method was possible. The displayed string extraction formula was used instead. It extracts the first definition it encounters, ignoring all subsequent definitions with that same response body. The final office script returns the found definitions back into Excel and places them alongside the generated words.